I'm Melissa Mancini with Canadian HR Reporter TV. I recently spoke to Paul Demers from the Occupational Cancer Research Centre in Toronto. We talked about current research into occupational cancer. Well, there are about 60 uh, substances or exposures that are known to cause cancer or for which there at least is a lot of evidence. And they span a very broad range going anywhere from uh, the traditional industrial chemicals such as you know, benzene and formaldehyde, um, different metals, nickel and chromium, uh, dust uh, and uh, fibers, so uh, silica and uh, asbestos, um, different types of radiation, uh, including both ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, and um, combustion products such as uh, diesel exhaust or uh, really when you burn almost anything uh, that results in this kind of black smoke. Uh, so there's a very, very broad set of, uh, of workplace carcinogens. And then there are also about, probably about a hundred different things approximately that are workplace uh, chemicals or other exposures that are suspected of causing uh, cancer for which there's some evidence either from animal studies or some other types of basic research, but where we don't have enough evidence uh, based upon our experience in, in different workplaces. So it's a very broad field. What are the gaps in our knowledge? Well, we have a real gap in that we have, there's a number of different things that we don't have enough uh, studies, uh, epidemiologic studies. And epidemiologic studies are actually studies of, of people in real life where we try to collect historical records and of people who may have experienced uh, different exposures and look at them over time to see if they develop increased risks of cancer. Or we interview um, cancer patients and members of the general population to learn more about their history. And we, we needed much more evidence in that area in terms, you know, to make basically bring some of these things that are suspected carcinogens either up the list and classify them as carcinogens or to take them off. So that definitely is I think one of the major uh, challenges uh, that continues to really um, uh, be a major area of work for centers like my own, the Occupational Cancer Research Center. What are some research priority areas? Well, we're working on a number of different things. We have uh, really three different areas of research. One is kind of traditional, uh, what I'll call epidemiologic studies. Um, so if we have, for instance, we're working with researchers from across Canada and the United States uh, looking at the relationship between pesticides uh, and various types of cancers, including things like leukemia and uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and um, multiple myeloma, things like that that have been associated with pesticides, but still we don't know the relationship between those and specific pesticides. We're also looking, we're also working with researchers in a number of different centers trying to identify causes of lung cancer. Uh, we're pooling our pulling data from Ontario with Quebec, with 14 other countries to try to um, pull together large data sets that allow us to uh, take a look at things that we weren't able to look at before because the numbers were too small. So we do a number of studies like that. We're also trying to set up uh, systems to try that will allow us to quickly identify whether groups are at increased risk of cancer. Uh, we call these surveillance systems. Uh, and so that we're looking to see um, you know, whether there's an increased risk, let's say, in a certain sector of, the in of industry. Right now, we don't really have that in place to be able to do that on any kind of a rapid basis. So we're trying to set up information systems that link data from the census with all of our national tumor registry data that will allow us to answer questions quickly, maybe not definitively, but at least to contribute data and to understand better the patterns of workplace cancer. You know, we have very good systems for tracking uh, cancer, but not the causes of cancer. That takes an extra step. Um, but uh, we are taking that and we're working in collaboration with Statistics Canada and Health Canada to do that.